Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about our 2023 lineup and range. So I did say that video was going to be the one thing we're going to be focusing on more than anything in 2023. I feel it's something we've always done well, um, and it's a good way of engaging with the customers, and it's good for the tutorial and kind of the educational side of things as well. Um, especially when you're selling like us, who are 90% online, um, when you're selling to people you know in Newcastle or in Ireland and things like that, they, a lot of them can't come down to see your chairs. I mean, a lot of them do come down, a lot of them even fly over from Ireland and come down and do the demos and fly back with their chairs. But uh, for those that can't make it to us, video is one way for us to match a user with the right chair plus a consultation. So um, we'll work our way around the range. So we've got the Compact here and the Compact Plus. So these are our lightweight models and these are the two we're going to be keeping as our lightweight models. So the compact is our smallest chair, it's actually the world's most smallest folding compact wheelchair. Um, when it folds up, it folds up into a very small cube, uh, weighs 21 kilos with batteries and 19 without. Um, the use case for this sort of chair is mainly for around the home, care homes it's brilliant for, um, uh, around supermarkets, shopping centres, beach promenades, things like that. Um, it's capable enough to go out and about into town and things like that. But when, where it's very, very narrow and you've got the small wheels and it weighs very little, if you're coming across lots of harsh terrain and cambers, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a bit harder because it's not really built for that. Um, the sort of person that would buy this is also someone that's quite small in stature. So if you're kind of, I'm five foot, I say I'm five foot ten, I'm not really, I'm kind of five foot nine and three quarters. So if you're five foot ten or above, I mean I'm five, if you're five foot eleven or above, you should discard this chair. And certainly, if you weigh maybe more than, it's going to be different for men and women because the body shape, but if you're a larger, in vertical as a larger individual, you want to stay clear of this as well because it's only 45 centimetres between the armrests. And with this chair, we don't have the ability either to add space to bring the armrests out. So you want to be a user that's kind of relatively slight to medium build. Okay, so next in line is our Compact Plus. So this is our latest chair for the Lift Tech Rhino. Um, it's also part of our lightweight range. However, it is far more capable than the compact. It's what bridges the gap between our lightweight models and our smart chair range. So what I've also done here, we've also got other models as well, but we've got our smart chair one and smart chair one XL. Then we've got our smart chair, smart chair XL, and the smart chair recliner. I've put that one out just because the reclining feature is different. And then we've got our smart chair X range, which has got the smart chair X and smart chair XXL. We'll move on. We'll move on to the smart chair range in a bit. Sort of user that this would suit. Because it's quite a small chair as a hunch up seating position, the same again, you don't really want to be over six foot using this chair. However, you can be a little bit heavier, um, it's a lot, slightly wider proportion chair, it's, not, it's wider, um, a wider base. So this one's uh, 57 and that one is 62. So the wider your stance of the chair is, um, it's going to be more stable. And when I say stable, none of these chairs are ever going to tip backwards, but when we're on cameras and things like that, the front wheels are more likely to move on a chair, chair that's narrower. Okay, you've got eight inch wheels at the back, um, but you've got these new um, spongy rubber seven inch wheels in the front with actual inbuilt suspension. So you can see the springs now coming forward this way, and if you push down the front, they're actually shocks that actually move. They make a massive difference when you're on canvas and you're trying to your wheels are digging into the pavement, hold, helping to hold you in position when you're climbing curbs and things like that, and when you're going over sort of undulating kind of rough ground. So that means that sort of user this would suit is someone that not only wants to use their chair in the supermarket or in the shopping centre but it will also get them from their home to the shopping centre where they're going to be um, you know they're coming up against cambers and tree roots and going up and down curbs generally crappy English pavements is uh, yeah so basically um, so that's for that one right now we move into our smart chair range so these are our, our iconic smart chair range have been out for six years now, well known all across the country and all over the mobility industry. So Smart Chair 1 and Smart Chair 1 XL. So the XL model is basically the difference is it will hold it, it will, it's slightly stronger, it weighs half a kilo more, and it's run having 48 centimetres between the armrests, it's got 53. So it would suit someone that's a little bit more hippie um, or the larger individual in general. Um, it's got two 6 8 batteries, plain safe on every airline in the world. Just a quick uh, FYI, all of these are all airline compatible. They all come with two 6 8 batteries, except the Smart Chair X, which comes with two 10s. So that's more, well, we'll move on to that one later. 
but you can still take one battery on the airline with you. Okay, so this is a nice capable everyday use chair. So it's the lightest kind of big wheel smart chair that there is you can buy on the market. Especially once you remove the batteries, you're literally reducing the chair to 23 kilos. And for an aero, aero aluminium and titanium blend um, frame, um, that is incredibly light. Um, like I said in one of my other videos, it's, you don't want to go too light with wheelchairs because the lighter you go, the less capable they're going to be, the more they're going to move around, the less stable they're going to be, the less comfortable they usually are, etc. Et so this is the perfect bridge between someone that wants a capable, it's, it's, it's someone that wants a capable chair, but out of the smart chairs it's one of the easier ones to lift. Quite easy to use for getting in and out of the car using ramps and things like that. Okay, so now moving on to the smart chair range. So in this range we've got the smart chair, the smart chair recliner, and then the smart chair XL, which is exactly the same as the XL model for this. It's got 53 centimetres between the armrests and is designed for people that have got bigger hips and generally that carry a little bit more weight to them. This one's actually also got, uh, just from the demo we had yesterday, actually got the care assist controls attached to it. So any of these models other than, well, you can use the care controls at the back on this one, but you can't use a care control on the front and on the back. You basically just use the one on, on the back normally. Um, yeah, so any of these models you can have a carer a control added and that basically just means that you and your partner if they are tired of pushing you around they can now electrically do it meaning they can help get you up hills and things like that far easier without any exertion it's the last thing you want when, you, uh, have, when you've got a dis disabled uh, partner is you don't want to put yourself out of action as well because then you're no good to either of you so you need to look, up, you need to look after yourselves and each other ok so the smart chair range comes with the upgraded front wheels as standard um, it comes with the uh, upgraded cushion as standard. It comes with your batteries. I'll show you on this one because it's got the new tab. There's a little tab you twist here, and the batteries just slot out. So um, we've also just started doing aeroplane safe bags as well uh, for the batteries, which is one of the most called up things we've had in 2023. People asking for do we do battery bags? So it's something obviously the airlines are getting quite hot on. Isolating the batteries away from the chair, but also in a specially designed um, lithium battery bag. So we started doing those for the Compact Plus and the um, Smart Chair 1 and 1XL and things. We're got, currently getting one that's being made for the rest of our, the rest of our range. And okay, the sort of user that would buy this is, same again, this one carries teeniest, it holds a bit more weight. So Whereas this is 26.5, um, or 26, this is 27. So it's slightly heavier, um, but that means it's also going to be slightly more grounded. Also, this chair is 59 um, centimetres total width from wheel arch to wheel arch. This one is 63. So that means you're going to be more planted, more stable. That's going to hold you in a firmer position when you're outside. So technically, this one is a more capable, well not technically, it is a more capable chair outside than the smart chair one. Okay, so... Same as the smart chair, there's no real difference. The only difference with the smart chair recliner is it reclines, obviously. So, to re make the chair recline, we just pull that back and we can go anywhere from 12 degrees all the way back to 30. However, I would say if you were going to operate the chair or lie back in it at 30 degrees, that's going to put a hell of a lot of strain on your neck and your vertebrae, so you really want to be using a headrest with that as an option. But what you find, most people actually buy the recliner, they don't buy it to go back the whole way. Some do if they've got ME and things like that, or POTS or whatever, but um, yeah, they basically you just don't like being dead upright, so they will go around pretty much at sort of 12 degrees, and that's how they like to be. So if comfort and things like that is your main prerogative, and you need to have a chair that's not quite central, then this is definitely the option. However, because it's got the reclining feature, um, it does add a little bit more weight further, so this is actually 28 kilos um, with batteries and then you reduce 3.2 kilos without the batteries. So still pretty much lighter than every, certainly much lighter than your cheap chairs on the market which will weigh around the 30 to 32 kilos. Um, but you do get a lot of, a lot of chair for your money for this one. Um, it's very, very stable, incredibly comfortable and obviously that reclining feature is a game changer for a lot of people. It's the difference between being comfortable and being able to use it all day every day or being able to use it for half an hour, so it's kind of a must to have in a lineup. Okay, so moving on to our flagship model at the end, Smart Chair X. So um, Smart Chair X is literally for those. It's two people really that this is kind of catered to. 
Very outdoorsy people, probably, for both. Um, one, something like the London crowd, when you're constantly using this as your mode of transport for getting to work, where you're down curves, you're down, up and down cambers, you're going down pavements, you're constantly going up and down things and sort of careering around. Um, so you need a capable chair, you need you know, sometimes a fast chair, but you need a very sturdy chair, a safe chair. This is probably the most capable and sturdy and safe chair, and its capabilities will just eat up any chair pretty much in the UK market. Um, it's the most capable of all of our chairs for sure, and I've pretty much driven every other chair in the market, and I know, and I can certainly state from customers' experiences and things like that, that they've all been amazed at how capable this chair is. Also comes with an XL model as well, so this one's 45 centimetres, a little bit narrower than our speed smart chairs, which are 48. However, we can add spaces if we want, little, which are little inserts here and here, which brings the, the armrests out to 47, so pretty much matching those. And if we need any more, we can go to the XL model, which is 52. Um, this will hold uh, a user weight of, well, as much as it you'll fit through here, really. So we would probably wouldn't recommend more than 13 stone for a lady and 16 stone for a man, or 15 stone for a man, probably, before going to the XL model. Um, and that will the XL model will actually take up to 145 kilos, which I think is about 23 stone, 22 and a half, something like that stone. Comes with your batteries, we touched on this, so it's a one chair, that now only comes with um, 10 AH batteries. And for the simple reason being, it's not necessarily because we think it's a decent idea, we, they just don't produce them in 6 AH for this style anymore. And we can't change the, the racking and the whole makeup of this chair. So if you want to go traveling with this, you'd have to either take one 10, so it says 6 AH because these are old batteries, but you'd either have to take one 10 AH battery with you on most airlines. I think British Airways and Virgin they, you can take two tens, but you have to check with them because they're constantly, they're all forever changing their battery walls. Um, yeah, so one ten uh, on a holiday or two tens around and about. The advantage though is that the people that are using this chair, more than likely they don't really take it on holiday. Um, you can, um, but it's more for careering around the UK countryside, dog walkers. Oh yeah, so that's the other people. So you've got the London crowd and then you've got the rural people that live in the countryside, live on farms, have dogs. This is amazing if you want to go on like with the country walks and woodland walks and up and down rural paths and things like that. Um, it's nice and fast, so it's the only chair for my lineup that will do up to five miles an hour when programmed. Um, and yeah, so it's nice and nippy. Great for whipping around with your kids and stuff like that if they're energetic and want to have a little bit of a play with you. Um, so yeah, so you've got kind of actually, without actually meaning to, we've actually done this in order of capabilities as well. So. From this kind of upwards is the order of your capabilities. Kind of exclude that one because it's the same as that. But yeah, that's your kind of lineup. Uh, so it basically means that anyone that calls Lift Tech now, any disability, um, any use case, we now can match them with the chair. So that is the difference between going to a specialist when we know all about people's disabilities. We know which chair is going to match with which individual based on their height and weight, based on what they like to do for fun, based on you know, you ask them all the questions, what so you know, how, if you have longer legs, are you more longer torso, um, um, and things like that. So we'll be able to match you with the right chair, um, no matter who you are, pretty much. And if we can't, we'll be honest, and we won't just try and sell you a chair. Um, and we'll say, look, I think you actually need a much more specialist chair with maybe uh, an electronic raise on it or something like that, which is just not the style of chair we do. And sometimes we go to turn around and say to people and say, look, the sort of chair you want is a heavy duty chair. Your, a folding chair isn't really going to suit your needs, um, but it's very occasional. So anyway, that's a little bit more about our lineup. Um, but yeah, we've got a big stock here, um, currently about 430 wheelchairs in store, um, over a thousand parts all ready for next day. So we know that your chair is your lifeline in your legs. So we know we take that seriously. So we can get parts out to you instantly. Um, so yeah, this is our 2023 lineup. I'm um, certainly going to have this line up for the next uh, couple of years um, and I don't have any intention really of changing anything in it. I feel like we've got a really good range and um, yeah, anyway, I hope you found that video interesting because I know a lot of time people say, oh, so what's the difference between your chairs? They all look the same. So now we'll talk to you over the phone, but we can also point you in the direction of this video as well. Um, so you can get an idea of what chair should be matched with what individual. Anyway, see you in the next one.